Hello everyone and welcome back to Jump Racing for Beginners. So in the lockdown I decided that I want to start a new series on the channel which is called The Basics of Jump Racing and today will be the first episode of that series which is called Different Types of Jump Races. Now in this video I'll reference four different types of jump races which are hurdles, steeplechases, bumpers and cross countries. Let's begin with hurdles. In hurdle races the horses have to negotiate a minimum of eight hurdles throughout the race. These hurdles are over three and a half feet high and used to be made of birch in a wooden frame, but now many courses use padded artificial brush hurdles, which are safer for the horses. These hurdles are normally angled to invite approaching horses to jump them more easily. And once a horse has gained experience over these hurdles, they tend to move on to steeplechases. Now, steeplechase fences are much bigger than hurdles, and apart from any water jumps, every steeplechase fence must be at least four and a half feet high. But some steeplechase fences are much larger than this, such as those found on the famous Grand National course at Aintree. For every mile of a steeplechase ran, six fences must be jumped. And there are two types of fence, open ditches and plain fences. Now the majority of fences are plain fences, but under the rules of racing, one in six fences must be an open ditch. Now what are open ditches? Open ditches are fences with a board in front of them which requires the horse to jump a bit further in order to clear the fence cleanly. Traditionally, plain fences and open ditches are made of birch or a mixture of birch and spruce, but some courses in Britain and Ireland are now using artificial fences. The artificial fences are made of synthetic brush and there are now even some of these fences found at the Grand National course. Bumpers. It sounds strange but that are flat races which take place at national hunt meetings. These races are sometimes known as national hunt flat races, or more usually, bumpers. They're run under rules of jump racing and normally utilised by trainers to provide their younger horses with some experience on a race course before tackling hurdles. It is also not unusual to see successful bumper horses sold on for large amounts of money after their first few races, particularly those those trained in Ireland, which you can also see more about here, where we went to Cheltenham for one of their sales. I really like watching bumper horses, as sometimes you can spot a really nice horse and follow them for seven or eight years or more, as they graduate through hurdles to steeplechasers. Bumpers are usually run over two miles, but some are as short as a mile and a half, which is the same distance as the famous flat race, the Epsom Derby. Cross countries. The fourth and final type of jump race is a cross country, where the runners have to negotiate a variety of different obstacles, including banks and hedges. In these islands, there are only two cross country courses, and they are Cheltenham and Punchestown in County Kildare, Ireland. Some people don't like the cross country races at the Cheltenham Festival, but I do. Not least because it's an opportunity to see some French trained horses come over here. Cross country races are very popular in France and they've got some great courses at Lyon d'Angers, Crayon, Fontainebleau and Pau. And there's also some lovely cross country courses across the rest of Europe. For example, in Hamburg, Germany, where the runners have to swim across a lake in their race. And in Murano, Italy, which is probably one of the most beautiful courses in the entire world. I hope that this video has been informative and helpful. I look forward to seeing you in the next Basics of Jump Racing episode.